Hi, and hello, and welcome. You know the rest by now. I took the straight path from the three-way intersection of the fluorescence cave, so now I'm going to go talk to Leomon and see what he has to say. I've already explored this level a bit, and I've already spoken to him. Let's see. Yeah, can't you move it? I've tried, but no matter how hard I push, it won't budge. I guess the only thing to do is give up. Hmm, what's on the other side? Ahead lies the so-called gravels wastelands. It's a vast land of sand. I'll move the rubble. You? I don't think that's a good idea. Even if I couldn't, even I couldn't move the rubble. I'll do it. One. Two. Three. Sweet, I did it. Yeah, this is because you have to have a certain number of attack points. That being 500. And luckily I got that boost from Monzimon that helped me out just now. Anyway, the path to the gravel wasteland is open. Excellent. Well then. Yeah, now he's on his merry way. I'm going to explore a little bit and then head back. I really shouldn't be here. Because uh, I have got some mail, and some of that mail could be detrimental to the next phase in all of this. Oh, it's you. I got what I needed. This desert is a strange place. It looks like various images of the digital world and your world are merged here. And lots of things wash up on the sands here. Anyway, since there's a limited supply of these things, I'll deliver them to the city. So if you have the time, please make sure to stop into my shop. I wonder what he sells. Leomon's back in the city. I'll explore this place for a bit and then head back. Let's take a look. Oh, there must be a memorial Stella here too. Quite possibly. That's troublesome. Wait a second, are you cutting? Uh, I shouldn't have. Huh, you seem to be reasonable for a human. So let me finish my shopping first. You should never cut in line. Don't forget that. Otherwise, your partner might decide to leave you one day. I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. Alright, I'll return to my job then. What is his job? Let's see. Oh, you're that human from before. I run a treasure hunting shop here. Actually, I used to run this business with a buddy, but a lot happened as well. Anyway, let's proceed with business. This will help me to forget about things. Let's see. Uh, treasure hunt? I used my wings to look for treasure. Every course will cycle three times with the duration and cost for each time. On high courses, both the chances of finding good items and the costs are higher. Of course, everything I find will be yours. This is a treasure hunting shop. Ah, just like Gabumon and possibly Garurumon from Digimon World 1. Okay, yeah, let's see. What, can, what kind of request can I make? Hmm. Normal. The normal course will take one day and cost about a thousand bits. Change course. Let's see how much I can get with the special course. Takes two days and costs three thousand bits. Change course. I'll just settle on one thousand. Normal. Yes, please. Earn a thousand bits. Got it. Please come back in one day. Alright. Well, I could have fought him, but I didn't have to. Is there anyone else around here I should know of? That's probably a an enemy. You know, like, if I explore a little more, I could... You know, I could, but I might feel safer going back to the city. Since I've already interacted with two Digimon. Let's see. The Gravel Wasteland, so they say. Uh, yeah, this is a different area. I'm not going to interact with this Digimon. Uh, I'm not going to take a further step. I'm going to go rest. That's what I need to do. Autopilot. Yes. Got mail. Let's read the mail. Some of you will probably wonder why I just did that. Um, the answer is because, the, like, you have to interact with Digimon given certain conditions. Like, not only do you have to be there at a time of day or night, but you have to have a particular accessory. And I already know about Shadowware Garurumon. 
in this game. Okay, so let's read. So you're the guy who woke up Tsukaimon when he was sleeping on the bus. I'm sorry my friend imposed on your time like that. He can fall asleep anywhere. But that laid-back attitude can, of his can never can be a lifesaver at times. I've enclosed a card for your trouble, so go ahead and take it. No, wait, I want the card. Raomon. I, I know it says Gromon, but uh, I'd much rather use the English dub names. And I know, I know, I'm playing on the sub patch. Uh, some names work better than others depending on the language. I like Gatomon better than Tailmon because, let's face it, she's more of a cat than just a tail. Emergency. I managed to recapture the signal of the other human who was in the sewer maze. The signal is coming from inside the Colosseum. I'm not certain why they are in the Colosseum, but if my predictions are correct, this has something to do with whoever is creating the garbage data. We should delay the rendezvous at Gigi Mon's house for now. You must come with me to the Colosseum. If garbage data is really involved, I will need your help. Going to the tower. It would seem that a human besides ourselves has gone inside the Colosseum. Besides Mira, only someone who works for Gigo could do something like this. I am going to check it out for myself. Therefore, we will save our meeting at Gigi Mon's house for later. Please head to the Coliseum as well, if that is at all possible for you. Let's see. Biomon. Thanks to you, I've managed to bring back new ingredients to the city. I use rare ingredients for my dishes, unlike Maramon, so come have a taste. Here's an item of my way of saying thanks. I hope you like it. Strength fruit. Okay. Monzimon. I opened up a new shop. Thanks to you, I got my own store once I went back to the city. It's full of really rare items, so when you're ready, come and take a look. Come take a look. I'm in the back alley that's across from the meat fields. You know, I really am dying to see what he's selling, if only because they could get me uh, upgrades. You know, like chips. Offense chips, defense chips, brains chips, speed chips. I could boost the power of my War Greymon without penalty. Yeah, I could max out his stats, possibly. That'd be worth the investment. I wonder how much we're talking. But we have to see the items in his shop first to determine the value of it. The value to my quest. We got more mail. Sweet. I'm gonna check out the back alley. Oh, and I did not get my daily supply of meat. Okay, let's check th let's check this out. Please be in the back alley. No, it's just a Kagumon. Thanks for your help earlier, but I get the feeling that the garbage and the waste levels in the city have gone up. The partners built a rat's nest or something, right? As a tamer, you need to notice like things like that. Okay, I'm done trying for now. I am going to rest and then go on this mission to the Colosseum. And something I did not get to in my previous video that I said I would was my thoughts on the Digimon games of days past. Okay, cliff notes for now are Digimon World 1 invented a new system with the RPG style of play. Digimon World 2 tried something else. Uh, oh, Alright, let's see what he says. Have you heard? Heard what? Another human has entered the Colosseum. But unlike you guys, he seems to be up to no good. He seems to have somehow circumvented the Colosseum's admission limit. Please go to the Colosseum and investigate. Your friends are probably already headed that way. Another human. You could have gone into the Colosseum. Okay. Let's check out the prosperity rate. It is 44. Not bad. Oh, wait. I stopped the rest. Anyway, Digimon World 2 uh, is kind of a letdown because it's a dungeon crawler type of game where you have to use this automobile and there's just barely any fighting and there's almost no story to that game. The first game had more story. Uh, Digimon World 3 reinvented the system of the series and decided to have you partner up with three Digimon in an RPG in a turn-based RPG battle. This one seems more of an action type, but I'm pretty sure that the, like Digimon World 3 is a turn-based RPG. And for that, I liked it. I like the environments. Uh, the sprites are great. The 3D models are very good looking. Uh, Digimon World 4 was a total letdown. It was just a cash in on the Digimon Digital Monsters X Evolution movie. There you are. So now everyone's here. There is a biological response from an, an identified human, unidentified human, or humans. The Digi Tower has shifted into alert mode. But other humans, I wonder who they could be. Well, we can verify this by ourselves very soon. That's right. Well then, let's go. 
Emergency mode activated. Digivice authentication confirmed. Special transfer granted. Let's see. Huh? What's that? No one's here. It's Metal Greymon. I wonder if, if Metal Greymon is supposed to be under someone's control, why isn't it the virus type? Anyway, Father, it's me, Niku. The Vidium is the supreme program. I won't allow anyone to alter it. With the structure sample inside the Digitower, Vidium can now grow even further. Father, what are you talking about? We have to put a stop to Vidium. We can't return to our world. You know that, right? And those who try to stop Vidium will be destroyed. Go! Yeah, just fought a Monzimon, oh, and I learned a technique I didn't even use. I probably should have put it to the test to see its value. Let's see if I can power myself up a little. I hope Metal Greymon's not too strong. I mean, I would know from using one. Okay. Energy ball. Let's go for charge attack. Yeah, charge attack. Okay, uh, that's way too far. The the distance is way too big between them. Let's see. Okay, that charge attack. It's probably not the best call unless I'm really close to it. Let's see what other commands do I have. Change target. No. I'll just stick with these two. Oh boy. I got it. Defense up. Let's see. Oh, I, I'm running low on small recoveries. Let's go for a charged attack. Or maybe I should take him out with my with my Terra Force. Is it worth it? Probably is. Got it. Terra Force. And that still wasn't enough to beat him. All right, got it. Autopilot. My stats have gone up. Not bad. What am I? Father, what's going on? You left without any warning. But now we're finally reunited. You idiot. Why did we suddenly have to fight? What the hell are you thinking? You must have lost your mind. Nico. I'm sorry. Father! Father! Damn it! What's going on? I don't get it. What's happening? Calm down, Nico. The hell I will! Dimension distortions always have a positive and a negative. They always occur in pairs. A closed world without an exit cannot exist. In other words, then that means correct. Dr. Petrov is still somewhere in this world. So where? I do not know that yet. That's good. Wait, no it isn't. What am I supposed to do now? In order to predict where the exit will appear, we will need additional information. Well, we have no choice but to wait for the data to stream in and investigate it. What? Then you still don't really know anything. That's a... right. New data may come to Digimon's house, right? Like we can rely on that. I'm going to investigate myself. Ah, wait, wait, calm down. I'll look for information about the dimensional distortions. Tell Nico to wait a little while. Well, I'm a little worried now, but all we can do for the time being is wait and see. There was definitely something strange about the way Dr. Petrov acted. I don't know what, but it seems like something must have happened to him. Setting things with Nico... Settling things with Nico will have to wait until later. Yeah, for now, let's split up to investigate everyone. Once you find something, send me a message. Let's get started right away. I wonder if this means I can still see Yuya and... Well, mostly Akiho at the Coliseum. I just saw that fight of yours against Metal Greymon. You were impressive. I really want to fight you. 
I'd like to ask you for a fight on the 10th floor. No tamer. I'll be waiting. Okay. I'm gonna register my Digimon data with the storage. Store data. We got two powerful Digimon. Yeah, War Greymon. I don't know why I ever decided to register Metal Greymon with the arena. As soon as I get a, another Mega that isn't any of the others that I've had to use so far, I'll overwrite the Metal Greymon data. Yeah, and that should be the end of this part. I've done plenty of work today. I actually have to go and help out my family with moving some uh, furniture around. So you can call it a chore if you want. Um, I'll get back to making more videos as soon as I have the free time to do so. I want to check the prosperity rate one more time and then I will end the video. Oh, that's right, I have to read the mail. I have gotten some letters, but I haven't really done much with them. Let me see, how many have I read so far? Mail. Okay, more items for sale. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm done sending the materials to the city now, so I'll be helping out the store from now on. We have more items for sale now, so come buy them. Treasure hunting shop. Do you have any interest in treasure hunting? I'm near the vending machine in the desert where we met. If you're interested, come see me. Lost reaction discovered. I have discovered traces of data while tracking Dr. Petrov's route, which I believe are related. I will explain further at Gigi Mon's house after everyone has gathered there. Although I may have traced the route, there is no telling how long I, I can maintain the trail. Come to D Gigi Mon's house quickly. Okay, so I got two choices. I'm going to make this in seven seconds. Uh, exposition or just save my game. Fuck it, exposition. Now that we're all here, shall we get started? Mirei, did you find something? I did. That's why I called everyone here. Alright, so where's the memorial, Stella? Where are Father and that thing going to appear? Well, this seem one seems kind of strange. Strange? It's on the other side of the fluorescence cave, north of the city. You'll find a place called the Gravel Wasteland. Something there is causing a dimensional instability there. Something like the garbage data is there. It has increased the instability there significantly. I don't really get it, but Father and that thing will be there, right? That is very likely the case, however, it may be dangerous. On the other hand, this is in a situation that we can afford to overlook. We'll need Eric's power to deal with the garbage data. Will you come with us? W will you go to the gravel wasteland? I'm going. I'm glad. So what? So ultimately, he matters? I'm obviously going too. I have to find my father. I I'm going as well, for Nico's father and for Vidium. This won't be easy, but I'd like to help even if I can't do much. You'll have to let me come too. I have a duty to see this through. As the future head of Gigo, my employees' blunders are ultimately my responsibility. That even includes the actions of your father, Dr. Petrov. Huh, so you keep saying. Well, for now, I'll take all the help I can get. I'll settle things with you once this mess is cleared up. So we're all going to the gravel wasteland, then. I think it's best to work out our problems later. That's right. While we're in this world, we have to join forces. That's what I've been saying from the start. Well then, we're off. Once we leave the fluorescence cave, we'll be heading to the gravel wasteland. Huh, <sighs> okay, finally. Alright, this has been another piece of my playthrough. See you later.